Oh, my devil. Do you sense what I sense, Sindora? What now? The Dark Side's early warning system is predicting major misery and upheaval at Casa Crane tonight. And, and you are very near the top of the hit list, my dear. Okay, can you and Endora please stop with all of this doom and gloom for a while? Maria's grandparents are renewing their wedding vows tonight. This is a happy time. Proof that love conquers all. That was the plan, okay, yes. Okay, okay, enough. The ceremony will go off without a hitch. And not too long from now, Fox and I will be getting married ourselves. Not if you accept his proposal before the planets have got themselves in alignment. I said I wouldn't. Well, Endora and I are getting vibes to the contrary. Uh, well, then switch to another frequency, because nothing bad is going to happen tonight. Well, I'm just trying to be helpful here. <sighs> I better just stick to my evil ways and let you and Fox run down the road to ruin. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Endora. You know Mummy does woo-woo for the dark side. <sighs> right, all right. This, I am trying to stop Kay from ruining her relationship with your half-brother. But it's not easy. First, she doesn't believe in the crane curse. And second, she won't consider that certain complications will arise if Miguel comes back to her. Okay, why, why would I worry about something that is not going to happen? If Miguel is too busy looking for charity, that he can't even come home to see his parents renew their vows, he's not going to come back, period. I can't believe that Kay's been sneaking over to her father's house to look at these pictures. Well, honey, I wouldn't exactly say she's snuck over. And Kay acts like she's over Miguel, yet here she is looking at these pictures all the time. Well, I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. Kay loves you. Miguel was her first love. But, honey, I'm, I'm sure Kay likes looking at these pictures over and over and over again because Maria's in them. And just because I could never get over my feelings about Sam, that doesn't mean that Kay has feelings for Miguel. Uh, Kay has tons of pictures of Maria over at, at Tabitha's. I mean, a lot of them are of Maria and me. It's... Well, maybe she just especially likes this one. I mean... uh, that's what I was worried about. Really, Fox, I would not give this a second thought if I were you. I'll see you at the mansion later, okay? Okay. <laughs> that went great. <sighs> Ivy, how did it go with Fox? <laughs> I'm surprised you couldn't hear my son's cage being rattled all the way in here. What did you say to him? Oh, just that Kay can't stop looking at these pictures of her and Maria and Miguel. Which, as Fox worried, that Kay still has a thing for Maria's father. Now, all we need is for Miguel to come home and feed Fox's fear. Kay and Fox won't survive this. Will you accept the job as co-CEO of Crane Industries? Teresa, I already Look, said that I'm, I... just think of the difference that you can make in this world. Now, you always say that you wish Crane would be a force for good, and you can do that as co-CEO. Teresa, Look, I'm... I know you said that you, you would never work with me. But can you put your personal feelings for me aside for the sake of this project? Come on, we work really well together. Yes, we do, but and this I'm not... project, it can be your legacy. A legacy that Jane can be proud of. Jane? Yes. 
for the rest of her life, she will be able to say that her daddy did something amazing, that he helped people, that he made a difference for good in this world. And, and as co-CEO of a powerful corporation, you can do that. You will have the power to change the world for the better. And isn't that what every parent wants? To leave this world a better place for their children to live in? Ethan, please, say you'll accept this job. Come back to Crane Industries as co-CEO with me. Say you'll do this. Martin did not turn away from me, Pilar. He took me in his arms and he kissed me. You're lying. And when he kissed me, it was as if we had never been apart. We were in bed when you came to the door. I don't believe any of it. You think I'm lying, Pilar? If you need proof, you look at Martin's back and then you tell me if I was lying. Liar! Wait, Sharon. It's dark and we don't know what's in there. We have to go in there. Yeah, now you just wait here, stand guard, and I'll go and check it out first. All right, but be careful. I will. Do you see anything? Not yet. It's too dark. What was that? Chris, are you all right? Chris! Chris, answer me. Tell me you're OK. Once I start the destruct sequence, that's it. There's no way to stop the place from blowing sky high. So before I do this, are you positive that Sheridan and Booth found the hidden corridor? Yes, Otto. The drapery over the door was moved, and Booth was at the door trying to break it down. If they're not in the corridor yet, they will be soon. And then they'll find our guests. Damn it! I have no choice but to follow Mr. Crane's orders. I have to destroy this place along with Sheridan and Booth and the guest. Still in it. Sheridan cannot live to see her heart's desire. silence leads me to think that you still love Catherine. If you do, under no circumstances should you renew your vows to Pilar. But I love Pilar. That is not the issue. It's called the sacrament of marriage for a reason. You cannot take Pilar to be your wife if your heart lies with Catherine. It's not fair to Pilar. I don't want to hurt Pilar. I swear to God, I don't. You have good intentions. But if your heart lies with Catherine, and I'm not hearing it isn't, then you cannot commit to Pilar. It is doomed from the start. I will be faithful to Pilar. In both mind and body? Your silence says it all. I think you should call off the ceremony. Don't commit to Pilar if your heart is still with Catherine. You lying whore. You've lived with Alistair long enough to be corrupted by his evil. You'll do anything, say anything to get what you want. And oh my God, you want Martin. Oh, I do want Martin. And he wants me, Pilar. Oh, please. No man is that desperate. The marks on his back prove otherwise. We can't resist the passion that we feel for each other. Oh, my God, please, in your dreams. You are a horrible woman. You see for yourself. 
The proof is there that we were intimate. You caught you like this despicable human being. You come to me tonight when I'm going to renew my vows with the Martin, with this outlandish story, hoping that I will believe it and call off the ceremony. Well, guess what, Catherine Crane? It won't work because I know Martin would never engage in such behavior. I'm telling you the truth, Pilar. Get out. Get out My before I rip your lying tongue out. My leaving will not change the truth. And the truth is that Martin loves me. And the truth is, we were in bed together. Chris. Chris, I need to know if you're okay. Chris. Sure, Anna. I'm okay. I, I tripped over something and fell. Must have zoned out for a second. My goodness, I thought something terrible happened to you. I'm still in one piece. What did you trip over? I don't know. I'm trying to find it now. Don't worry about that. We've got to find Marty and get out of here. Oh, my God. What is it? It's a body. I tripped over someone's body. Is it Marty? Is he alive? My little boy can't be dead. Please tell me you found Marty alive. So, will you accept the job as co-CEO of Crane Industries? Let me help you make your dream for a better harmony come true. No. No, I won't. I told you already, I am not going to have anything to do with you or Crane. I don't know how you do that, you know, how you just turn down the chance to have it all. The title, the money, the power to do so much good for so many people. And this project of yours, Ethan, I see the way you look at this project. You love it. You are passionate Teresa, about you, you it. Teresa, you needed my help. I offered my help. And that's the end of it. OK? End of story. I need you. God, don't do this again. Don't. Don't do what? What do you mean, what? No matter what I say, you don't listen. No matter what I do, you try to make more of it. Do you understand that I, I have no choice here but to, to keep you out of my life completely? Well, that's not fair. It's. Not fair, Teresa, but I'm sorry. That's the way it has to be. Because I'm not going to accept any job offer that you make me. Heck, after this little incident right here, Teresa, I can never help you like this ever again. So, did you convince Miguel to hop on the crane jet and make it home in time for Martin and Pilar's little I do ceremony? Because he really does need to be here in order to be perceived as a threat to Kay and Fox's happiness. I did the best I could. What does that mean? It means I made a full court press to get Miguel to get on the crane jet and come back to Harmony. Short of luring him onto the boarding ramp with charity tied to a rope, I did all I could. Now, if that's not good enough, you can jump on your broom and go get Miguel yourself. Well, aren't you just a little bit of nasty? No wonder you did so well at crane. Why, thank you, Ivy. All right, tell me this. Did you get a hint that Miguel might come home? No, and I didn't want to come on too strong and make him suspicious, so I left it up to him. But surely you had a feeling of which way he's leaning. No. Ugh. OK, well, then we're just going to have to keep our fingers crossed that Miguel decides to come home. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with a daughter-in-law from hell. I'm so glad you're here. Really? Yes, really. You know Maria and I hate it when you're not around. Well, if Maria says so, it must be the truth, huh? Stop. I miss anything? No, uh, Tabitha and I were just saying how nice everything looks, huh? Teresa really went all out. Pilar and Martin will have a beautiful backdrop for their ceremony. Yeah, I hope that we can have our own beautiful wedding. Uh-oh. I can see where this is headed. You hope? Why wouldn't we have a beautiful wedding? Uh, I don't know. Uh, something could go wrong. No. No, I am only getting married once, and everything is going to be perfect. Are you kidding? We are going to have the most beautiful wedding Harmony has ever seen. I just hope it can be sooner than, than later. What is this, Temptation Island? Well, Fox, we decided uh, that Kate, we would... I love you, and I don't want to lose you. 
Honey, you're not gonna lose me. I love you too, and I can't wait to marry you. Now there's an opening you could drive a bus through. Then let's get engaged. We can start planning our own wedding. You know that I want to, but just, it's the planets. Kay, let's do it. Accept my proposal. Say you'll marry me so I can put this ring on your finger right now. Don't do it, Kay. Don't do it. Disaster will ensue if you do. Father, I value your counsel, but I know what I'm doing. I love Pilar, and I'm ready to be her husband again in the eyes of the church. You're sure, my son? I can honestly tell you that I am committed to spending the rest of my life with her, and I have no problem forsaking all others to rebuild my marriage and our family. I'm reassured by the conviction in your voice. Good. Yet I have yet to hear you say that Catherine is not in your heart. Father, Pilar is first and foremost in my heart. She is my wife, the mother of my children, and I love her. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. It's as simple as that. Is it, Martin? Is it? Father, I made a commitment to Pilar years ago, and I failed to live up to it. No more. I'm going to renew that commitment again tonight, and this time I plan to keep it. I mean, I owe it to her to be the man that she believes me to be, and I owe it to both her and our children to keep the promises that I made a long time ago and to keep those promises that I will make again tonight. So Catherine is out of your heart. Mr. Fitzgerald, I've laid out your tuxedo in the guest room upstairs. Time to start getting ready. Martin and I aren't finished yet. You know what? It's okay, Father. You have nothing to worry about. I love Pilar, and I'll keep my commitment to her. You never answered my question, Martin. Is Catherine still in your heart? out of my face. I need to collect myself before my husband and I renew our vows. This ceremony is a sham, Pilar. You have made Martin feel so guilty for protecting me when he left Harmony, for protecting Sheridan, for protecting you and your children against Alistair. And he is actually willing to go through with this meaningless ceremony. Shut up! Stop it with your lies, Catherine! He wanted to divorce you, do you remember? No. He actually drew up the papers for you to sign, but you wouldn't hear of it. You used being a good Catholic to hold on to a man who didn't want to be with you. You are an evil woman! He's not in love with you anymore, Pilar. Stop and he proved it when he was in bed with me. Stop it! Call off the ceremony. Let Martin go. You can't force him to love you. Get out. All right, I'll go, but you can't get me out of Martin's heart <laughs> or take my place in his bed. Get up! God! How can you not come back to work at Crane? I mean, look at this project. Look what you just did. You made a positive difference in this project, and you enjoyed it. And you thought that would pull me right in, didn't you? Listen, don't, don't, don't insult my intelligence. I know how you work. You wanted to remind me how wonderful it would be for me to realize my dream for a better harmony, to nurture it, to move it right along. And it worked. I enjoyed it. I loved it. But it doesn't change my attitude about coming back to Crane. It doesn't change my answer. All it does is prove to me that I can't let my guard down with you for one minute. No, I made the no. mistake of trying to help you and thinking you wouldn't take advantage of it. I tried to be nice, 
And you used it to try to lobby me to take a job that I have turned down God knows how many times, no, Teresa. No, I didn't mean to take You to get caught? To get caught? You got caught, and I'm on to you. My answer is no, and it will stay no. Ethan, please Teresa, don't. stop. I've heard enough. Game over. You heard my son, Teresa. He said no to your desperate little ploy. Now leave him the hell alone. Okay, accept my proposal. Say you'll marry me so I can put this on your finger right now. And we can announce the engagement after Martin and Pilar renew their vows. Then we can start planning our own wedding. I want to get engaged. I do. I really do. But we have to wait until the planets are aligned. I'm sorry. I mean, Tabitha said that it won't be too much longer. And then after that, we can make all the plans we want. And we won't have to worry about this cosmic calamity. Kay, I've gone along with you so far because I love you. And I don't want to pressure you, but, you know, I've never known you to be superstitious before. Yeah, I've never even seen you read the horoscope in a newspaper, yeah, let well, alone I don't have, have it. Yeah, I have to. I can tap with around. <laughs> That's the other thing. Since when did Tabitha become such an expert astrologer? But you know how out there she is. Yeah, but she's completely controlling your... I know your... that I'm not normally superstitious, uh, then but... don't be superstitious. I have to be careful. Why? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but can you please just do this for me? First, tell me the truth. Tell me that this whole planets being aligned thing isn't just an excuse. That there isn't another reason why you're dragging your feet in our engagement. Whoever this is, they're still breathing. It's Marty. It has to be. Sheridan, it's not Marty. It's definitely an adult. Are you sure? Positive. Marty, where are you? I promised Mr. Crane that Sheridan would never see that guest. So like it or not, I have to keep that promise. Go round up the others. Prepare them to leave the compound immediately. When I hit that button, we won't have much time to get out of here before this entire place blows sky high. Yes, Otto. Damn you, Alistair. Damn you for making me kill your own daughter and those two people near and dear to her. Hopefully you do too. Actions speak louder than that's words. That's I understand, and that's why I want to renew our wedding vows as soon as possible, and then we can get to work on rebuilding our family. I'm completely devoted to you, our marriage, our children, and our future together. I know that you came back to me because Alistair was blackmailing you and Catherine. But now the truth is out, and uh, Alistair's threats no longer have any power. So. Are you really going to stay with me? Yeah. I'm here for good, for you. I'm committed to rebuilding our marriage and our family. Thank God. Because I don't think that I could stand losing you again. Don't worry, I'm here. And I'm never going anywhere ever again. I love you very much, Paul. I love you too, Martin. Very much. Are you happy that we're renewing our vows? I can't think of anything that would make me happier. You're not gonna lose me. I'm here. You can count on me. You can count on me. And I can count on Catherine doing everything she can to take you away from me. No. 
I will not let Catherine make me doubt my husband or his love for me. She will not take him from me again. The person Chris found isn't Marty. Who else could it be? Beth. Oh my God, it could be Beth. Chris! Is the person you found a woman? If it is, it might be my half-sister, Beth. It's too dark to see in here. I'll bring them out. Hurry, we still have Otto and his people to worry about before we find Marty. He's still breathing. Whoever you found must know where Marty is. Oh, God, forgive me. Warning. Warning. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. All personnel evacuate the compound at once. Detonation will occur in 20 minutes. I mean it, Teresa. Leave my son alone. Stay out of Ethan's life and stop chasing him like some crazed stalker. I was offering him a job, Ivy, a job that he's good at. The job you raised him to have, head of Crane Industries. No, that's just bait. To lure him back into your web, what you really want is time alone with Ethan. Time to work your wiles, to tempt him away from Gwen to be with you. But it's not going to work, Teresa. Please, your grand gesture is so obvious. You're not fooling anyone, especially Ethan. That is why he walked out the door. He just needs a little time to think it over. Give it up, Teresa. He doesn't want the job. And he doesn't want you. You're wrong, Ivy. Dead wrong. I will be with Ethan again. Honey, ask Tabitha if you don't believe me, okay? Because I want to get engaged to you more than anything. True. I'm just afraid that if, if we don't wait until the planets are aligned, it's going to cause major, major misery for us. Yeah, I have to agree with Kay Fox. As much as she'd love to put your ring on her finger, that would be just asking for trouble. So that's it. It's just planet alignment again. Not anything or anyone else. Fox, are you worried about Miguel? Sorry. Oh, it's business. I have to take this, okay? okay. Crane here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you see how frustrated he's getting that we're still not engaged. Uh, well, that's not exactly breaking news, dear. If I don't accept his proposal, I'm going to lose him. If you do accept his proposal, you're going to lose him. It's not just that the planets that are in play here. It's the Crane curse as well. You have got to wait until the time is right. But I've been waiting. Well, just keep up the good work then, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get something to eat for Indora and I now. When he gets off the phone, I'm going to accept his proposal. What? You heard me. You heard me. My future with Fox is too important to wait for some space junk to get its act together. So when he gets off the phone, I'm going to let him put the ring on my finger. No, you just listen to me, dear. I have listened to you, Tabitha, and I've almost lost him because of it, and I'm not doing it anymore. From now on, I'm going to do things my way. How? for Fox and Kay. It's too late. I love you. You are the man that I want to spend the rest of my life with. So ask me to marry you. I want you to propose to me again because I think that you're going to like my answer this time. Oh, you're making a terrible mistake, Kay. One you'll regret for the rest of your life.
All right, Mr. Fitzgerald. If you need help with the bow tie, let me know. I will, thanks. So Catherine is out of your heart. This, I'm renewing my marriage vows to Pilar today. This is Pilar's bed. This is soon to be my marriage, but we can't do this. Oh, yes, we can. We belong together. We belong together, Martin, until death do us part, darling. Mm. <sighs> I want you so badly. This is wrong. Oh, darling, how can this be wrong? I love you. I knew you loved me. I want us to make love, darling. I want us to make love. I love Pilar, too, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going through with this ceremony. You may have thrown yourself at Martin last night, fine, but I know he turned you away. No, he didn't turn me away. He took me in his arms and he kissed me. Eyes. And when he kissed me, it was as if we had never, ever been apart. Pilar, we were in bed when you came to the door. You're making this all up and I don't believe any of it, Catherine. You think I'm lying? If you want proof, Pilar, you look at Martin's back, and then you tell me if I'm lying. <laughs> Catherine is lying. She has to be. I know you'll take good care of her. I will. Yeah. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God. Father, to Mary. Father, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, uh, I need to say something. Tell the bride from hell the wedding is off. I just wanted to say thank you for believing in us and for never giving up. Because of your faith in us as a couple and your steadfast belief in our love, <laughs> we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together and I just wanted to thank you because you've made me the happiest, happiest man in the world. so blessed to have such a beautiful mother and I'm blessed to love her and to be loved by her Kay every day I spend with you is 
amazing. And I know it's just gonna get better from here on out. Fine. It's okay. Will you spend the rest of your life with me? Will you make me the happiest man on earth and be my wife? Don't do it, Kay. Don't do it. Just say no. Yes, I will marry you. There is nothing I want more than to be your wife. We're going to be together forever, Kay. Now nothing or no one can come between us. Forgive me. I never wanted it to end this way. Warning. Warning. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. All personnel will activate the compound at once. Hurry! We have to get out of here! 18 minutes. Who is it? Sharon, come on. We have to get out of here while there's still time. What about Marty? We can't save him if we're both dead. Now, come on. To the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Hey, everybody. Guess who's here? Miguel. You're dealing with me now. Don't argue with me. I can't leave my son. 